Okay, we're heading out to the Giant Trance. This is the 2015 27.52 model. Um, basic upgrade from 2014 model is uh, fork, no more overdrive 2, uh, which means you can run a standard stem. And the fork steer is also st standard. When I say standard, I mean tapered. So um, that'll be some relief for the aftermarket guys. Um, other than that, it's graphics, they've gone, uh, it's not uh, standard matte black, they've added a bit of blue, which I must say I love. And this is Gert from Dragon South Africa, they are the giant uh, distributor locally. He's joining myself and Nick, the hub content manager for Rife, quite a bit of brake squeal, Shimano, check just now, if I remember correct, it's XD. Sounds, sounds terrible. Oh, no, cool. Okay. Gert is commenting here in the back. He gave it a wash, so it's a bit squeaky. 2015 Fox is already feeling better than in 2014. So there's a good hope there. down there you realize it would be nice if you could have a dropper standard spec on this but that's uh, added in the 27.51 and obviously on the advanced models so far definitely more effort than the pedal assist bike but it's good fun trying to really uh, sort the geometry of the trance last year already <laughs> Again, drop pose would be nice. Not the end of the world. Like I was saying, Giant really sorted the geometry of the drones in 2014. 2015 is building on that. Uh, along with that, good spec on the bike. SLX crank, otherwise the XC drivetrain. Solid, good performance, reliable. Even earlier, no dropper post standard, but it's something you can retrofit. It does come with internal routing for stealth. Okay, so if you're looking for Triumphs, there's still 2014 models available, 2015 available, and the full size curve. Um, and for most guys, I think. There we go. Out of respect for the wheelie, I uh, kept quiet there. Uh, for most guys, local guys, I think the Trans is a perfect bike. It's good value for money, good spec. It rides comfortably, it fits. The fit and feel is um, familiar, if I can call it that. It's a bit like uh, buying a car and you don't have to get used to the clutch or over the brakes and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I think it's a good buy. I think it represents very good value for money. The fork definitely felt better than the, the one on the 2014. Um, I've actually just spent about two months on a 2014 Trans 2. The exact model, just the 2014 one, is basically um, doesn't have the blue bits in it. Other than that, it's been uh, it's been killer. It's been a it's enjoyable ride. I don't think the terrain around here is perfect for for bike of 140 mil travel. But um, it still didn't feel uh, out of its depth. It didn't feel like uh, there's too much travel. It still pedals well, still rides well, still handles well. So good buy all in all.